Okay, one of the most cheapest and effective upgrades you can get for a laptop is SSD drive. This is a 250 gig SSD. It's not about the name or anything, Micron, but of ones I found uh, that you can purchase from eBay or anything like that or Amazon would be £42.99. That's the cheapest I've found so far, unless you want a recon one. And they are extremely fast. There's a difference between that and your standard hard drive. This is for beginners, not for you professionals out there. Um, the difference is this is almost like a USB stick. That's one way of describing it. I mean, people will criticize me for that, but it is it's like a USB stick with just memory in it. Where the other ones, the SATA drives are, they have disks in them that spin and heads that slide, slide over and pick up the data, which is they're quite slow now. So. This is for the older upgrade. This, this is a um, old stone laptop. It's a uh, dual core with two gig of memory. So the best upgrade you can do for this would be the SSD drive. And the simplest way, I'm just gonna show you how to fit it on these. On a lot of the old machines that you can actually use your access from the back for the hard drives. I'll just show you. You'll have a plate like this. It'll even say on some of them, it'll say like S um, HDD. And I'll just take this off. Oh yeah, my gummy's warm. There we go. So underneath here. And there it is. So now you just slide this back because uh, it sits in its own cradle. And then what you'd normally do is fit the cradle, if this was in a cradle, you would fit flop the cradle over and put it into this one. Now there is a difference in height, so this should just fit in because these pads at the top just fit snugly for this to, to um, hold it in place. But at the back here, you'll see a little um, stopper. That stops the drive from sliding out, if anybody's interested in that. Hold on one second, okay. So you line him up. Push him home, that's fine. And then all you do is slide this back in, push it home, and that's it. That's the upgrade done. Now, the drawback with this is you're going to need your original discs, um, either Windows 7, Windows 10, or whatever you're using, um, even possibly XP if you're still using that. Um, Windows 10 is better, of course. So that's the one upgrade, which is absolutely essential if you want, really want to speed your machine up excessively. And it does, I think it speeds, I would say, this is only me personally, I would say it triples the speed on logging on and everything. Um, and it makes a hell of a difference because the access time for the drive is a lot, lot faster. And then the other upgrade, you can see that, is the memory. Now, I'll put a link in the description down below on where you can purchase both these from. And the other one is like, I might I think this will only take up to a two gig. So and that's your memory. So that's what we're gonna put in. So and by the way, make sure this is this because it's an old laptop, we're not gonna use this anyway. But you need to earth yourself or get an earth strap from your wrist to a earth port or earth point usually anywhere you want just to gig, make sure you're earth so because static will kill the chips. Okay, and Get him out. And the, if you just look down this one, there's a little, make sure these plugs back in, otherwise your fan won't work and then you'll blow your processor up. Okay. So here we have a spare memory. This is a memory slot here. Um, and this is a spare slot. With these, what you can do, if you're not too sure, if you log on to crucial.com and um, plug your machine in either to a network or whatever or download the piece of software by your home or, or work whatever you're doing and then run the analyzer from crucial.com it'll scan your memory and your memory slots and it'll tell you exactly what you want and it'll give you a price as well so that's amazing that is that will i'll put that in the link as well down below and this is the wrong memory anyway but i'm just showing you as an example so what you do you'd buy the right memory for the machine put them in the slot this would line up 
with the little groove there, push him in, push him down, upgrade done. And then you just put this back on again, make sure you fit this, and it'll only go in one way, that's the way to go on. Slide him back in, push him down, hold on, that's him, and then pop the screws back in. So, but like I said, once you've fitted your hard drive and the memory, then you've got to reconfigure the system. So you're going to have to either reload Windows. So before you do anything as well, if you've got stuff on your hard drive, so if you're changing this sort of old SATA drive um, for a, a new one, then you're going to have to get your pictures and any documentation or anything off this saved onto another hard drive or onto a backup drive or onto a USB stick, depending on how much data's on there. And then you would swap this over, then you'd have to reprogram the whole lot. Um, and there's, there's tutorials. I've even got a tutorial on my channel on how to put Windows on and fit whatever you want, you know, your, your new hard drive on your memory. So, and how to load Windows from a USB stick, that's on there as well, if you want to look at that. And then put them back together, and that's it. Put the screws back in, and then fire them up, which I'm not going to do because we're not doing this one. It's just a demo purpose, just to show you that it's an upgrade. Well, yeah. So just to recap, SSD drive from forty-two pound. I don't know if it's delivery on top, but that's a really cheap upgrade. And their memory on eBay or even eBuyer, e if you've got the right stuff, so you know what you need to get. And then once you find out what you want, you can go anywhere or you can buy it from Crucial or you go online to eBuyer. And then you would, this is, I found this priced at 4 dollars onwards. So for a two gig stick, and that would be a phenomenal upgrade for this bit of kit here. And it does make a hell of a difference. I have upgraded one of these in the past and they fly. And I've only put 120 gig SSD in and two gig of memory. And the difference is phenomenal. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, share, thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you want to do, that would be great. This is a tutorial for beginners, not for professionals, because they know what they're doing. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next vid. All the best.